I pulled all my clothes off and I was butt naked and I was sitting on the toilet. I'm sitting on the toilet butt naked, my roommate's in there sleeping and I looked down at my boobs and I thought, one of them looks bigger than the other. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. Y'all have been asking me for the video a long Here it is. So. Let's start off with my long intros that I'm very famous for. And I want to start off by saying that I'm going to make very light of this conversation, okay? And I'm going, it's going to be, have some funny parts to it. Because now looking back, it's a little funny. It wasn't funny in the moment. But I also want to let y'all know that this is not something that I recommend anybody doing. Please don't do this. Please don't. I wish that I wouldn't have in a lot of ways. I mean, I try not to regret anything because I, I realized that it got me to the place that I am now. But if I had to go back and do it all over again, I, pro I wouldn't do it. Okay, so I just want to say that. All right, so we're going to start off and clarify some things and just kind of get on in there. Whenever I was born, my great-grandfather bought me a couple bonds okay back in the days back in the 80s bonds gained a lot of interest they don't do that anymore i know because i bought my oldest son one on his 10th birthday and come to find out they don't gain interest like they used to but back then they did i was his only great granddaughter okay my mom was gone you know she was gone whatever and then you know so that was it that that's all he had was me and he didn't live well he lived till he was 98 i mean grandpa grandpa ted was amazing when i did get to see him and when i did get to be around him but he he did pass away whenever i was a child so the sole purpose of him buying me these bonds was so they could grow interest and that i could pay for college well <laughs> We all know what kind of teenage years I had. So I decided that I wanted to get breast implants instead. Now, at this time I was 16. I had just turned 16. This was back in 2001, January 2001. I'll never forget. And I was couch, by this time at 16, I was kind of couch hopping. I was living with a friend here, a friend there, you know, wherever I could stay. I was basically homeless is what I was. And I was staying wherever I could stay. And I talked to my grandmother into signing the bonds over to me because I would have had to be 18 to get them, but because she was like the beneficiary or whatever it is, she could sign them over. Now, she did not want to do this, okay? She knew what I was going to do, but she did it anyways. I talked her into it. So what I did was I went to the doctor's office and I was able to, I had a consultation and he gave me the price that it would be. And I knew he didn't ID me. And that's just the craziest thing because like even still to this day, I went and had, I had to have a checkup uh, earlier this year. And usually I see a naturopath. I don't even see a regular doctor, but because of this thing that I was doing, they needed me to actually see um, an MD. And so even going and seeing them, even with my insurance, they take your ID card and that's just for a checkup. So I don't know what this doctor was thinking. And I know that like, okay, like I know, like when we're 16 years old and any of my 16 year old babies watching this, which I hope y'all ain't, but remember y'all don't do what grandma Christina does. Okay. Uh, when I was 16, you know, you feel like you're grown, right? You feel like, Oh, I'm grown and I'm all this and that or whatnot. And then now when I had a 16 year old, I'm like in his friends, his little friends that are girls. I'm like, they look like children, right? 60, like they look. So anyways, with that being said, I, I don't know how I got away with this. So I went in there and I had my boobs done. I will leave part one down below if you haven't seen it. So I had my boobs done. I had had them for, let's see, about three years at this point, And I was around 19 years old. Okay. So I was living in New Orleans. Okay. I was living 411 apartment A Bourbon Street. This is the life that I was living y'all when I was about 18, 19 years old. I moved there when I was 18 and there was a lot of partying going on. Okay. Can you imagine if y'all have ever been to Bourbon Street and if you haven't check out my vlog, that's a New Orleans vlog. So you can see what Bourbon Street looks like. It's literally a street 
that's nothing but clubs and bars on both sides. And then in the street, outside of those, there, there people are partying. I mean, people are dancing in the street. It's nothing but a drink fest and a party fest type of vibe, okay? So when on my apartment, 411 Apartment A Bourbon Street, when I walked out of my courtyard, I'm standing on Bourbon Street. So this is it. So we're, it's a party type vibe or whatever. And I remember one night I was out. I had been out for days basically just partying and partying and partying and partying y'all and I went back to my apartment and I had a roommate at that time I can't believe I'm telling y'all this oh my gosh this is wild and I was I pulled I came into the apartment and I pulled all my clothes off and I was butt naked and I was sitting on the toilet I'm sitting on the toilet butt naked my roommates in there sleeping and I looked down at my boobs and I thought one of them looks bigger than the other I'm like so I looked in the mirror and I'm like, this one does look smaller than the other one. So I wake my roommate up and I'm like, girl, I think one of my boobs has popped because it's smaller than the other. And I mean, at that time, it wasn't super drastic at that time, but it was enough. And she's like, she was like, girl, I think it is smaller than the other one. I'm like, oh, uh-uh, my boob done popped. God bless, what am I gonna do? So I called the doctor's office. And I was like, hi, my name is Christina, and I had my breast implants done, da, 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 da. And I was like, I think one of my, my breast implants have ruptured. And she was like, okay. She was like, we'll get you in about three weeks. I said, no, ma'am. Now, mind y'all, I was a different person back then. So y'all have to remember, these are old stories. So please try to keep that in mind. I said, no, ma'am, I'll be there tomorrow morning. She says, ma'am, we can't get you in by tomorrow morning. I said, oh, yes, you will get me in. I said, if you don't get me in, I will be there on your front porch tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And every customer that you have come in that door, I will lift my shirt up, show them my boobs, and show them what kind of job that this doctor does. She was like, okay, yes, ma'am, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I was like, okay, then. So I got in the car, and I drove um, back there, which back to where I was, which was a few-hour drive. Uh, my hometown was a few-hour drive from New Orleans. So I get there. And he's mad at me. He's so mad at me. And I'm thinking like, my boob is the one that's going flat here. And you're mad at me. So then he wants my ID. And so I give him my ID and I forget about it. And they line it up and he realizes. And it is this really upper body. So he gives me my paperwork and he's like, I'm not fixing these. You have to go somewhere else. And see, the thing about it is, and any of y'all that know this, whenever you get your boobs done, or I don't know where you're from, but here, they give you 10 years insurance on them, okay? So that, so you get 10 years insurance on them. So if they, if they rupture within that 10 years, they're supposed to fix them. And then if it's the same doctor, they do it, they do it for, they do their work for free. So I am supposed to get my breast implants done for free. So then he didn't want to work on me anymore. And I'm thinking like, you've already done it now. Like I'm mad and I'm like, oh, I'm going to sue you and I'm raw and I'm like, I'm going to sue you for this. And y'all, please forgive me. This was a long time ago. I'm just telling you. So I flip out and then now I realize that I have to come up with the money, like the insurance is going to cover the breast implant, but now I have to come up with the money for the anesthesia and the doctor to do it. So I go to another doctor's office in that town and that I was a very famous doctor in that town. And I go to him and he was like, it's going to be $2,500 to fix one boob. I'm like $2,500 to fix one boob. So I'm like, okay, well, I got to get this money together. Y'all, when I tell y'all that that boob was leaking, every morning when I woke up, the boob was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And the skin wasn't going away. It's not like it's shrinking and it's being nice and, and perky. It was going flat like a flat tire, y'all. I'm talking about I had one big voluptuous boob and one little sad balloon that looked like the air had been let out of it. You know what I'm saying? You know when you get those helium balloons and they start they start shrinking and getting more wrinkly? Y'all, it's really what happened. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I'm trying to come up with this money. I'm hustling. I'm trying to do everything I can because not because I need a house, not because I need to pay my bills, because I need to get my boob fixed because I'm losing one over here. She's dying. She's dying. She's going flat. You guys. 
So at this point, I'm like, I really want to get <clears throat> both of my boobs done because if I only get one done, are they going to, they're two different doctors. Are they going to be two different boobs? Like, I don't know what's going on. So let me tell you, so time goes by, time goes by. I'm going to say about six months goes by y'all. And by this time, my boob is completely flat. <laughs> it's flat, like a flat tire y'all. And when I tell, this is what I was doing. Let me tell y'all. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm telling y'all this. Y'all know I love y'all. I was stuffing this side with toilet paper so they would match in my shirt because even wearing a t-shirt without that one in there, it was flat and this one was big y'all. I mean, come on. This is what happens when children go and try to have surgeries and they, they, they can't handle it. And that's, I got myself in that situation, another situation. Ugh. So, and then you know what I would do if I had a low cut, a low cut shirt on that I needed cleavage, I would take like, I would do toilet paper. I'd roll it around my hand and then I'd take toilet paper roll it, and I would do like three or four of those separate ones and I would wear two bras. Okay. So I wear two bras. So it was real, real tight. And then I would put all that toilet paper in there. That way I could push the skin up. So that way they would at least match and look like I had two boobs and really I only had one boob. And then Lord knows if I was sweating, I had wet toilet paper in my bra. Y'all, this was a hot, sloppy mess when I tell y'all, okay? So eventually, fast forward, I ended up getting enough money to go and get my boob fixed. And they did, they were even and they did look good. But, oh man, I had, I had a crazy experience with that too, with that doctor. But y'all know, it's a million and a half story times. I mean, I got, ended up getting an infection and it swelled all the way up to here. And I had to like, oh my gosh, y'all, it was just, y'all, my life, my life, this is my life, okay? So yes, that is the story about how my breast implant ruptured. It went completely flat, like a flat tire. If y'all are ever wondering what happens if a breast implant pops, that's what happens. And just so y'all know, I had saline implants, which was salt water. Thank you, Jesus, to the heavens and above, because if I would have had silicone, I could have died. It would have poisoned me, especially because I didn't have the money to go and get it fixed. And then, you know, they just... They cut you a little hole and they pull that old bag out and blah, 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 blah. And I actually ended up, believe this or not, in 2009, the other one that was done, okay, so I had this one that went flat, okay, and then I got it fixed. In 2009, this one went flat. So I'm telling you what, that doctor put some dud boobs in my chest because let me tell you, when they do your breast implants, they, they told me back then, I don't know what it is now, that 1% of people will have a rupture. One. And your girl had it twice. I had a rupture in two different boobs at two different times. I mean, who does this? I can't make this stuff up if I wanted to. That 1%, I hit it twice. That's when I tell y'all, when I got stories for days that things you would not believe happened to me, any kind of statistic that says it ain't going to happen for you, your girl right here, she's going to hit that bullseye every time. So in 2009, I was living in Lakeland then, and I ended up getting both of my breasts done by a good doctor and done right this time. And now I've had them for 10 years, and it's probably about time to have them done again, honestly. But I'm doing good. Nobody worry. I'm all healthy. I got two boobs, no toilet paper, and we're in the game, okay? I hope that y'all like this story time. Please give this video a like at the very least because you feel sorry for me because I just put all of that out there for the whole entire world to see. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I love y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all. I go hard for y'all and thank you for supporting me and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.